So the plan today is to give this splitter a hard test and see how everything works. It's not 100% done yet because we want to make sure everything's working right before we tear it all apart and finish welding it and paint it and stuff. Uh, in case any major changes need to be made. There's already a few issues that we found. So if anybody watched the build videos on this, I think there's four parts build video I made on this. Um, you would notice that originally I had this radiator like back here and it was kind of in a, it was kind of tight, but I thought it would be all right. And I had like a shroud for the fan to cool it and stuff, but we were having some slight overheating issues. It could have been a combination of things, but in the long run, I didn't like it back there. It would probably cause issues down the road. So it was a lot of trouble, but I had to move the radiator and the air air box and i had to modify this and change everything in the hood here where the air intake came that's why this looks just completely ugly because i guess i'm not good with sheet metal but i'm happy with it i did a couple test runs it seems to be running cooler so um yeah i'm gonna get it by some wood and give it a long test and see how it does Also played around with the foot pedal design I was having issues with it being too hard to push and there being too much stroke in the pedal so I was able to get a lighter duty spring up here and then I changed the angle of the dangle on this chain to move it out some I think I found a happy medium but you know the more you come out the less leverage you have and it's harder to push so I kind of met somewhere in the middle I'm at about three and a half inches of full stroke so this will be the first time testing that out, um, but everything else seems to be working good.
So that was a pretty good test. I finished filling this toad up. Uh, this is one of the bigger ones too. I think it's 325 gallons. Uh, the normal ones are 275. I think it's like a foot shorter. So I like these ones better. You can fit a lot of wood in these ones. But I was almost expecting to break something because this whole thing's pretty much tacked. Like this plate, the whole plate and steel and stuff, the whole table bounces every time you get into a log. I don't know if you noticed in that one knotty piece I got into, I was almost sure I broke something in the mast up here. This thing's still tacked, and but it was pretty good. Um, I was probably at it a half hour, maybe. And then I don't know if anybody noticed this temp gauge, probably couldn't even see it in the video. This temp gauge likes staying like just on the borderline of that green and red. And I thought it was getting too hot and overheating, but I kept checking it with this temp gauge. I think that gauge is just extra sensitive because it doesn't seem to be getting past, I kept checking right here where the thermostat is, it doesn't seem to be getting past 180 or 190, so that's a pretty normal running temperature. So I'm glad I didn't break anything and the engine seems to be running okay. This engine's kind of on borrowed time, we did a really cheap rebuild on it and it, uh, it idles kind of rough, but once you, once you rev it up it smooths out. So we'll see how much life is left in that. Hopefully a lot. But uh, thanks for watching. And um, the next step is to tear this apart, finish welding it and a couple little things, and then get it back together all painted. And I'll probably do a final walk around video with some more splitting.